Hello everyone, welcome to the third and final video of the series. My name is Mayur and I'm showing you how to build a page object model framework in three simple steps. In the first two steps, that is in the first two videos, we saw the basic structure of framework building. We created a Maven project, added the dependencies, created a basic test on ebay.com. In the second video, we understood the concept of page factory where we added all the elements like initially we had the elements inside the test itself then we moved those elements to the page factory so in the second video we understood the concept of page factory and in the third video we are going to understand the concept of pages and what i mean by that is when we look at our test case right now we see that there are actions like we can see some action happening on search field search button and other elements so ideally inside our test case we should not have any actions all we should have at the ideal scenario is the methods and the assertions in our test case we should only have the methods and assertions but right now we have actions also and a lot of different stuff also so we need to do some cleanup activity and most importantly we need to move these actions to the page classes like in the previous session we moved the elements to the element class and created a page factory Likewise, in this session, the first thing that we're going to do is move these actions like these three over here inside the pages. So first thing, let's create another class inside the pages. Let's call it as home page. And the concept is again very similar for every page in the application. We will have a specific page which will contain all the actions that happen on that page in the form of methods. OK, so the first thing that we will create over here is a web driver driver and then we'll create the constructor for this home page so it'll be public home page and it will use a web driver as an argument so first thing that will happen is this dot driver is equal to the driver so whatever driver will pass through the argument that will be taken as the driver of this page and also by using this driver we will initialize the home page elements because when we say that we want to utilize the elements from home page to create the wrapping methods in this page, in this class, then first we need to initialize home page elements also, right? Likewise, the same thing that we did here, we initialize the home page elements and then we were able to use the actual web elements that are there inside the home page. So same thing over here will as part of the constructor, we will initialize the home page elements. So first thing, let's create an object over here home page and let's quickly get it imported from elements and then we will instantiate the home page inside the constructor so it's equal to new home page elements and we will pass this driver okay so when we will instantiate this page the home page which is going to contain the actual methods then automatically it is going to instantiate the elements page also and likewise for this particular page if you need more than one element pages then you can call more than one initialization here so right now we just have one elements page so that's the single that we are initializing and here we can create the methods so let's say public the method is to let's say entering some details in the search field so i'll call it as public void enter details in search and also will pass a string and then we can use this object dot search field dot send keys and the key to send is this argument over here so it's one and the same thing only difference is now we have a method for doing the same thing that we were doing over here what is the benefit the benefit is we are not actually doing the actions inside the test case so we are going to a more standard state another thing is entering the details to the search field may be needed multiple times so why not just keep it at one place and manage at one place so likewise a page for one application page so what i mean to say by that is a page class for one application page will contain all the actions that we are going to do on that application page so all the actions that we are going to do on the ebay home page will be here so this is the first action for entering the details in the search 
the second action is clicking on the search button so we'll create another wrapper public void click search button so again the same object search button dot click third action that is required right now is getting the details from the first search result title so we'll do the same thing public string now we need something written so we are saying give us the string title return get first search result title and again home page dot first search result title dot get text and this thing we want to return so the title of the first search result will be returned so all the actions which are currently required for this one test we have already moved them to the specific page under the pages now we want to use these wrapping methods now to use these wrapping methods we need to create the object of home page so instead we create the object of page factory so i'm just going to call it as home is equal to new home page and it needs a driver okay and we can import it quickly now by using this home we can just call the methods like home dot enter details in search and we want to enter this thing so instead of this we got this method now for clicking the button we'll say home dot click search button and for this thing home dot get first search result time so all the three actions that we were doing inside the test we moved them to the home page and we are calling it directly from the home page in the form of wrapping methods so this is the concept of page object model all the actions corresponding to one application page will be there inside one page class okay but when we take a look at the test it is still not complete we are still doing a lot of stuff which is not called as directly methods so what we'll do is we'll create another class we'll call it as abstract base class so inside the test i'm creating another class calling it as abstract base class you can give it any name but it's just an abstract base class because we are going to use this class as a parent class for all of our test cases so that's why i'm calling it as abstract base class and inside the abstract base class first thing that i'm going to create is a before method now why do we need a before method is because we see that setting the properties of a driver launching the instance of the driver setting the implicit weight and this is something that we need to do for all the scenarios for all the tests so why not taking it common and doing it at just one place and that is we can create it as a before method so public void i am going to call it as setup also we can take this driver at the class level so we'll just use it here and remove it from here so that this driver object can be used across all the methods inside this class also we can create after method public void i'm going to call it as tear down so this will basically contain all the actions that we want to do after a specific test method is complete and when we look at the test only one thing that we need to do is just quitting the driver so i can take it out use here and also we can remove this part and as i said we are going to use this abstract base test as a parent for all our test classes so we are going to say our test class this home page test extends abstract base class so all the before methods after methods and whatever other annotations we will use here they will be utilized for our test class also so now it looks much cleaner mostly we are using the methods and assertions inside the actual test case and this becomes our core structure of page object model framework and this is scalable what new components you can add to it it has no end you can add the component of data driven testing to it we can add listeners we can add a lot of different stuff it can definitely evolve further depending upon the project requirement 
but yes there are a lot of different components which we can add to it so at this point i would suggest you to take this framework and find some more pages from the application add more tests for those pages create new element pages for those create new pages for the methods so take this framework and practice it if you want the framework code you will find more details about that in the description so also in these three sessions i have explained you just the core structure of the framework there are a lot of different things that i have explained in detail in one video course along with a lot of different concepts from selenium so basically a full-fledged selenium web driver course which i have created and if you want to take that course also you will find the link for that in the description along with that you may also find the option to join into my live coaching program on selenium web driver but the enrollments for the live coaching program may not be open throughout the year so just check out the link if you find the enrollments for the live coaching program open you can definitely enroll otherwise there is an in-depth video course on selenium web driver with java which is created by me uh, which you can enroll and become a selenium engineer okay and as usual thank you so much for watching this series if you have any questions feel free to comment let me know your suggestions on the new videos new topics goodbye